This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in the glow water in blue today. With me, I've got professional boxer Peter McDonald. All right, Pete? Yeah, good, mate. How are you doing, all right? Really good. I'm really good. Good cooking? I'm all good. Yeah. Right. I think he's all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not weighing in today. You're weighing in tomorrow. You've had a change of opponent. You was due to fight a Czech opponent. He's pulled out. Uh, you've got a Polish fighter that's stepped in. Can you tell me a little bit about him? Yeah, um, yeah a kid called Eric Malik. I mean, very tough. Boxed a lot of fighters from England. Uh, only been stopped three times. You know, he's, he's very experienced, you know, very durable and he comes and has a little go. So, you know, if I can go and do a number on him, it'd be, you know, it'd be a big, big job tomorrow, you know. Fair play to him and for Mick Hennessy for getting him and saving your fight and keeping yourself in action tomorrow night. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I only boxed four weeks ago. So, you know, uh, four or five weeks ago against Dan Blackwell, who's a middleweight. So it's going to be a big difference in fighting at welterweight now again. And, uh, you know, get, get another win. I mean, it's my 50th fight tomorrow night, so... Looking forward to it, you know. But How good do you feel that your career's been kind of rejuvenated under Mick Hennessy? Yeah, no, I feel very good. I feel, you know, I just feel like now, you know, a couple, a couple of more fights and I'm in, I'm in chance for a title fight. You know, British, maybe Commonwealth for something, you know, I'm, I'm ready, you know what I mean? And with the time and notice, I believe I can win it. As your training been going, you seem, you seem to be in great shape at the moment, Pete. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, I've just come back from Marbella. I was in Marbella training in the MGM, which is a brilliant gym. And that's where my camps will be from now on, the MGM in uh, Marbella. So, um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it, you know. What's this about you've got a TalkSport interview to do uh, after you finish talking to IFL? Yeah, I've got a TalkSport interview to do after this with uh, Darren Goff. And uh, obviously, you know, I still love me uh, IFL in London, but it's, it's great to get on, you know, with Darren Goff and have a chat and say what I think about the Frotch and Groves fight. And as I said to you before, I was the one that made them fights before they even happened. Hay and Fury and Frotch and Groves. I said about getting them two fights on. Most people should give him credit. He's been... Uh, trying to get these fights on for ages, yeah, yeah. Madonna promotions. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But uh, that's what we, you know, that's what the British public want to see. And you know, listen, losses don't mean nothing. I went to meet the uh, famous Marvin Agler last night. Spent a lot of time with Marvin last night. And when you look at people like that, and when you say who's your favourite fighter, Roberto Duran, Marvin Agler, Ernst, right? All of them lost. Every one of them. This country are too bothered about unbeaten records. Unbeaten records don't mean nothing. Records are for DJs, as I say. Well, yeah. Any advice Marvin Hagler gave you last night? Just said train hard. The train, the harder you train, the luckier you get. And he said, forget about promoters and uh, politics in boxing. If you train hard and you, you keep focused, you can get to where you want to get to. If you believe it, you can do it. Never a truer word said. Listen, Pete, I'll thank you for giving us a bit of time. We'll catch up with your fight night. Um, we're going to go and grab James to go after his weigh And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow thank night. You very much. Cheers. No worries. Cheers. This is James Holder, Peter McDonough for IFL TV. Thank, thank you very much. much.